between Las Vegas being the most popular travel destination in the United States and a never ending stream of content being created, you would think that everything in Las Vegas has already been shown. Wrong. Southern Nevada has over 2 million people living in it, and there are still places both on and off the strip that do not get that much attention. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you several places in the Vegas Valley that no one else has. And we're going to start right inside here. We are inside the Tropicana Casino, and this room where I'm at right now, you guys can see right over my shoulder, they're about to start playing here, is right next to uh, Robert Irvine's. So there's actually several creators here getting ready to play this game. I won't be playing, but this is a cool setup here. I did not know this place existed until just a couple months ago. I'm standing with a gentleman named David. Now, David, you are the creator of the Absolute Nuts YouTube channel here about poker here in Las Vegas. So what's a little bit different than what with what you do on your channel versus other poker? Okay, so first of all, none of us are professional poker players. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of my partners is a doctor. He's one of the best psychiatrists in Vegas. Mm -hmm. My other partner is a jeweler. So we want to play poker with people that don't know how to play poker. Okay. So we want to have fun. We want to just gamble. Basically. So no professionals allowed. No professionals allowed. <laughs> Maybe only one or two, but okay. hopefully not. Yes. <laughs> All right, so it's open to the public, right? It's open to the public. If you watch our show, you can contact me in, in, in Instagram, in Absolute Nuts, okay. and we can, like, you can talk to me. If you're a pro, we kick you out. If you're not a pro, you're welcome. If you guys do want to reach out to them, I'll put the links down below if you guys want to come down and have a unique poker experience here in Vegas. That was something different and kind of cool to see right here on the Las Vegas Strip, especially if you like poker, but you are not a professional level player. So that's the first spot I have to show you guys, but don't worry, we got more. I am less than one block off the north end of the strip at a very popular Thai restaurant that hardly anybody knows except for locals and a handful of tourists that stumble upon it. Thai Paradise is a well-loved restaurant with plenty of good reviews online. Right here near the Strat, it's also an area that lots of people get sketched out to come by because you have this massage parlor across the street, no comment. I'm also right near Sahara, right near the Fontaine Blue. I can see Resorts World from here. You will see abandoned buildings in this lot. You will see buildings that have been burned down. You will see quite the homeless population over here as well. This area with the sirens going by kind of concerns people, but the food is amazing. Okay, enough of all that. Let's go eat. This one here is called Crying Tiger. It's about five or six ounces of absolutely delicious looking steak. Got this for $18.99. This is grilled ribeye steak served with tamarind, chili sauce, and a side of vegetables. The flavor is amazing. It's not bitter, maybe a little bit sweet. And the texture, it's not really like beef jerky. They use the term jerky, but even the gentleman here who owns the place said, you know, it's just, because it's more, Thai style, so they just use that term jerky. So it's not rough like your normal beef jerky you're used to here in the US. And the sauce makes it sweet. Now if you wanna get more spicy, you can get basically as spicy as you can handle. But this sauce right here adds a nice little sweet flavor to it. The texture is easy to eat, so don't worry about that. It's not tough. Obviously that jerky did not stand a chance. It was amazing. But now we're gonna move on to the Crying Tiger ribeye. Mmm, I like that ribeye. Ooh, looks like they cooked it probably about medium. Easy to chew, softer texture than the jerky. And again, the sauce here gives it a nice, sweet taste. Do you guys really need any more evidence about whether or not this place was good? The protein, the steak, I dusted that off. 
The rice, I had a little bit, but I'm very much a protein guy, as many of you know. So if you guys are gonna come down here, here's some good news for you. This place holds about 70 people, so they can have large groups and large parties here, but I would recommend that you contact them ahead of time. Also, the other cool thing about this place, it is quiet. It's so much quieter than almost anything you're gonna be on the Strip. So if you're at the Strat, if you're at Sahara, it's a very easy walk. If you're here for business, lots of people for conventions like to come here because it's quiet. They can eat and discuss business. They have the Tao Lai Association likes to meet here. Some people have their wedding receptions here after, the, after they get married at one of the chapels. Lots of events, lots of things they do right here in this parking lot and the parking is free. That was awesome here at Thai Paradise Restaurant. The owner guy who works here was super cool. They have one location in Summerlin, they opened in 2019. They have this location here, they opened in 2021. I know this area does not get a whole lot of love, but if you wanna come and have some good Thai food for cheaper than it would cost you on the Strip, right here, Thai Paradise. The next spot you're about to see is a place called Mad Maddie's Gaming Bar located just west of the Strip on Sahara Avenue. This is a family owned and operated gaming bar which gives it a very different feel than the casinos in the tourist area. They do have a variety of slot and video poker machines to play and there is a non-smoking dining area with a fireplace where you can eat, drink, and relax. If your parents who want to have fun away from the kids, you are allowed to leave them in the non-smoking section so that you can enjoy yourself over in the bar area. When I was here, I ordered steak and eggs to eat. The price was just $14.99. The steak was juicy and had the perfect amount of pepper on it. The lightly salted hash browns were cooked just right to be a little firm on the outside but still soft on the inside. The eggs were good as well but very similar to what you'll commonly find at other diners. The meal also comes with toast but I skipped it so I unfortunately don't have any footage to show you. Whoops! A place that's more local like this is going to be known for having much more value friendly and affordable food and drink items as well as different specials that they run throughout the week. Nonetheless, this was my first visit to Mad Maddie's after driving by many times and it was a good change up from the mega casinos that most people think of when they think about Las Vegas. Bueno. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta? 20. 20. ¿Qué piensas? Que la grande. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I buy it? Gracias. Gracias. Cuídate. I'm coming to you guys now from North Las Vegas, a separate city from Las Vegas at the Broad Acres Marketplace. So if you love swap meets, flea markets, things like that, this is the biggest and most popular one in the Vegas Valley. They get all kinds of stuff to see here. I'm gonna show you. So, acompáñame. I know some of you would love if all the hotels in Vegas did the same, right? No estoy seguro, es mi primera vez aquí. Sí. ¿Tienes tacos de carne asada? Claro. Tengo un combo de tres taquitos con arroz y frijoles. ¿O quiere puros tacos? Tres tacos está bien, con frijoles y arroz. Sí. 24. Voy al casino después. <laughs> Voy a pedir ese dinero, estoy muy seguro. <laughs> Vegas is different once you get outside the tourist corridor. I promise you. Mm -hmm. It's good on its own, but that lime always adds that flavor. Lime, great. Red sauce, a little spicy, gives us some extra kick. I didn't do any green sauce today, but usually I love green sauce. So if you're gonna put the red sauce on it, it's a little spicy. If you're kind of weak to that, skip it. But if you can tolerate it, go for it. Horchata! <sighs> mm. Okay, that's enough sugar. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed it. 
I know I said the horchata was enough sugar, but I think now I want a churro. So I've been trying to think of a way to try to incorporate broad acres into a video on my channel because when I was a kid growing up in California, we used to actually go to our local flea market and buy toys like dinosaur toys, like those little, uh, also those little poppers. Usually you have them around 4th of July for fireworks. You throw them and they just pop. We bought a whole bunch of those when I was a kid too. And also when I was in college, this is one way I used to make some uh, money like as a side hustle. I'd find stuff for free off like Craigslist and anything I could sell around my place sometimes is stuff I had that I want to get rid of. And I would go sell at the flea market um, where I live. I did that several times just to try to make some money while I was waiting for my student loan money to come in and did that. So I've been to many flea markets in my life. And here in Las Vegas, Broad Acres is like the market. The best. She knows. Estoy muy seguro. Necesito un churro mi vida ahorita. Bueno, amigo. Por un churro. Hay muchísima azúcar. So when I used to sell at the flea market back in California, there were two very important words that you needed to know to help you get people to come over to your booth. It was barato and pasale. Barato means cheap in Spanish, and pasale is like, come on down, come on in, right? Everyone come on down like that. So people would be out there, anywhere you walk, you'd hear barato, barato, pasale, pasale. And I was right there doing it too. <laughs> I think three will do it for me. So I gotta pick up two duckies and hopefully underneath they have matching numbers. If they don't, I get nothing. If they do, then I win something. I have three chances for five bucks. If you ever need to get away from all the terrible odds of gambling on the strip, this is where you come. Ten. And again, I should another little one. Ah! Oh. Seven. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I still get a prize? Oh, so everybody's a winner, yeah! I'm not gonna grab a prize because I'm good, but you guys see, these are the prize. You can still get something even if you don't win anything. Like I did. So even if you just pay to play, you'll get something you choose from this. If you actually match two numbers like I was not able to, you get a bigger prize. So, all good. That will conclude our day here at Broad Acres in North Las Vegas. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I'm hoping you enjoyed seeing something different besides just the, uh, oh wow. Besides just the uh, strip, downtown, all the touristy stuff, the gambling, yes, that stuff is cool. It's fun, it's exciting, it's a huge part of Las Vegas, but there are millions of people who live here in the Vegas Valley. There's a lot more to Southern Nevada than just those touristy areas. So I wanna show you guys something different. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'm Jacob, this is my life in Vegas. That we engage with the community, we have the first location in Summerlin, it's a only the takeout place there and uh, here we open to like a, to uh, our mission is uh, to be the voice of Vegas you know Vegas is the like, central hub it's usually here the strip the uh, a, is be engaged with the the tourism or hospitality at the city of Las Vegas is the the big uh, the um, hosting, I mean that to be hosting the, to welcome the guests or even the local Americans in Vegas. We are the Vegas born or you know Nevada born or Vegas born but speciality we are real Thai family and thank you for uh, the customer and the visitor come to support the real Thai family from Bangkok. We have pride to share and be engaged with American community eat locally, support locally. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Thank so. you so much.